you see Dublin was a huge night for you but how will Saturday night be compared to that if you win a world title when I win the world title right um, yeah, uh, UFC Dublin was, was huge for a bunch of reasons, besides just the fights. Obviously, all the guys had great wins, great performances, but for it to be in my hometown and all my family there and friends and stuff, that, that made it very special. Uh, but achievement-wise, Saturday's bigger because it's for the belt. Um, so it's, 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 it's bigger for different reasons. Uh, does this all still seem a bit unreal for you? I'm also trying to get the match match here, fighting at the fighting about the world title. Three of your guys fighting at the biggest fight card of the year. We're sitting here, well, standing here in the Ultimate Fighter gym. This is something I've been watching for for many many years, and now to be standing in here, we've been training here for the last bunch of weeks. Um, like you said, uh, Connor now is maybe without too much argument the biggest draw in the UFC right now. Um, I believe Gunnar's going to have a, a really big performance on Saturday night that's going to get him on the path to that belt and face probably Rory in the, in the near enough future. So it's, it's all happened. It all seems to be happening quickly, but, you know, we've been at this for now. I've been talking to you for many years now, so it's, it's, it's happened gradually enough. And uh, now, now the results are starting to show. Uh, do you think a winner would meant this for McGregor will answer? getting more respect in the eyes of the public who are still waiting for that answer of the, the wrestler question mm -hmm. rather than a win over Alto who is more of a striker yeah uh, for a lot of people but maybe for a lot of people they're gonna have even more questions now but questions are good questions are good for business because it makes people intrigued to see how will he deal with Aldo or how will he deal with Edgar you know and that's that's good you know sells fights um, so from my experience of this and understanding is even if he out even if he decides to out wrestle Mendes for five rounds, yeah. there'll still be questions on Sunday from some people. And that's that's fine. Fighting is all that Connor cares about really. But if he were not to take that path of fighting, he said somewhere that he wouldn't mind be able to sing the high notes. So let's say he was a singer, what kind of musician would he be? You did ask me a question I haven't been asked before, so <laughs> Maybe he'd be an Irish white rapper. That's good, that's good. <laughs> now, uh, John Howard was obviously supposed to fight Gunny this weekend, but he pulled out. Uh, was that a fight you've been want wanting for a long time and are you maybe a bit, bit disappointed that he pulled out? Um, yes and no. I personally think Hathaway is a tougher opponent, um, but because he's a little bit inactive, he's not as well known here. So, although it would have been very nice and I think a tough test for Gunny to face John Hathaway, who I think is an excellent fighter, I do think that this vi victory uh, will mean more because Hathaway is more known in the States and, you know, he recently had a good fight with Henderson. He lost it, but he had a good fight with him and he's had a lot of good wins. So, um, I actually think this fight will, will mean more. So the Hathaway fight maybe will happen another time. Just I guess just as a spectator and as a coach, I would have been excited to see that contest. Um, but now we have a new guy, new challenge. Um, I, like I said, I think it's a slightly easier opponent because the grappling is weaker. But I think the victory will mean more. So how do they match up stylistically, Gunny and Thatch? How do you see the fight going? Uh, yeah, well, like I was saying, I think uh, Hathaway or uh, Thatch is a little bit better than Hathaway on the feet, but a little bit weaker in the grappling. Um, I don't think it's a mystery to say if you're facing Gunner and your ground is not very good, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, I believe he's like a blue belt in jiu-jitsu or something. Uh, pretty decent takedown defense, but he did get taken down a bunch of times by, by Henderson and seem to give up his back a little bit easily that does not bode well if you have uh, Mr. Nelson on your back um, so I do think there's going to be some exchanges on the feet a takedown, a back take and uh, the signature rear naked choke first round well, let's say Gunnar won't be able to take the fight down are you confident that you will be able to beat him standing? All of my guys, they're all very well-rounded. Um, 
Gunnar's stand-up is, I think it's still pretty underrated. Um, he's ridiculously fast and um, he hits very, very hard. So if it stays on the feet, that's going to be an interesting matchup too. Um, yeah, I, I don't see any problem in any range. It does, he's just so far advanced on the ground, it seems like an obvious thing to exploit. Now, uh, do you see anything different uh, with Gunnar since the Rick Story loss in training? I just think you have to look at the pictures that have gone up in the last few weeks. When did you see Gunny with uh, abs? It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so I think there's a big physical difference and I, did, I think more importantly, there's a big mental difference. Um, he's a hell of a lot more aggressive in training now. Um, I think he's, he's got a kind of renewed attack on MMA again. Reminds me more of his earlier fights rather than the, the last few, which um, I don't know for whatever reason maybe coasted a little bit, but but now he's looking particularly mean and aggressive, and um, I'm very excited for this fight.